Hello everyone, welcome back. It's David again. Uh, I hope everyone had a good Christmas. It's actually Boxing Day for me today, and uh, I'll be spending it in here because you know it's too many people, too many lines for me. But uh, for those of you who do go out, maybe you get yourself a new computer, you get yourself a new laptop, and you open it up, and guess what? It's Windows 8, and you, you, you've you used Windows XP your whole life, and this is just, you know, it's all these weird icons, weird tiles everywhere. You're just wondering what is going on in this computer. But don't worry, you're in the right place. This is the beginner's guide to Windows 8. And I am gonna get you through all of the basics. So let's get started. When you first boot up your system, I'm not sure how it is with the new Windows 8.1, but on the original Windows 8, you'll be presented with your nice, colorful uh, start screen. And this is Microsoft's new uh, alternative to the start menu, in which it's basically the same kind of thing that you always had with your start menu, except it's in a nice screen format. Anyways, all of your applications are going to be right here. And you know, these tiles, a lot of people are confused by them. They think, are these pictures? Are they what? No, these are just links to your applications. You can treat them the same way that you treat icons on your desktop. And everything is still generally the same. You can still search for things. If I wanted to use Microsoft Word, I just search for it. I get it straight away. And everything is generally fairly simple to use once you get the hang of it. So let me show you one of the new applications on Windows 8. So I'm going to be showing you, uh, let's, go, let's go to the weather application, right? So this is my weather application. It's very nice. It's a, a lot of these applications are built in by Microsoft or you can get new ones from the Windows Store. And they are quite different from what you would expect on Windows, right? There are no, you know, there are no uh, taskbars where you can uh, close it or minimize it. It's just a full screen experience. So how do you get around this kind of application? So I'm going to be showing you some of the basic mouse gestures for you to use Windows 8 effectively. Now, first, when you go to the bottom left corner, you put your little cursor in the bottom left corner. This allows you to access the start screen. You press it, you're back at the start screen. You press it again, and you're back to where you were before. If you want to go to another application, put your mouse cursor at the bottom left again but this time scroll up keep your keep it on the left side but just move your mouse cursor up and this will take you to a little kind of dashboard right here in which you can see all of your open applications so from this I can go back to my desktop and I can go back again to my weather so that's everything on this side on the other side of your application, uh, you can go to the bottom right corner and move up, and this will get you to your charms bar. Now, I'm gonna get back to this, but just remember the gesture for now. Bottom right and up. So, now that you're done with your weather, you checked your weather, you know uh, what to wear tomorrow, how do I get out of this application? Sure, I can, you know, I can go to my start screen, and I can, you know, move around to different applications, but how do I close this little full screen application I have going? Well, it's very simple to do. All you have to do is take your mouse cursor, put it to the top of the screen, and you'll see the little hand icon. And once you have this, click, hold it, and then drag down. And now that I've dragged it down, I just release, and boom, it's gone. And with that comes a series of different, uh, different ways that you can position your application. So once I'm in this kind of free floating menu right here, I can snap this application to wherever I want. So say I want to be uh, doing something while I'm checking the weather, I can have that and then I'm going to go to my other application and now they both share half the screen. 
and I can adjust the size on how much screen estate I want to give each of them and this is a really neat way to maybe you know uh, you're working on a document but on the side you want to maybe watch the game you know it's a great kind of usage of screen space and anyways that's just an easy way for you to play around with your different windows so I'm just gonna close both of these for now and we're gonna get to the charms bar so if you remember what I said earlier bottom right drag up this is something that is probably the most different in this version of Windows it's something that's probably more meant to be useful on the tablet but we have it on the desktop so you know you might as well use it when you first start it up, you'll see two things. You'll see the time and date on the left bottom side over there, as well as a series of different options that you can use over here. So in the middle in the start, of course, that takes you back to your start menu. The search, also pretty uh, self-explanatory. It's the search bar kind of thing. Uh, your share app feature is pretty different uh, it varies for each application so if I had maybe my sports or news app open and I chose to share then it would you know I can choose to share screenshots I can choose to share uh, emails it's different for each uh, application that you use uh, devices is also uh, pretty self-explanatory uh, it gives you the option to uh, play it on a different monitor you can print it or you can use a projector and project it so you know not the most everyday usable things for most people but you know it's there for you if you need it uh, the last thing is actually probably the most useful for us it's the settings and this is very different from what we're all used to in our, you know, our control panel. So when you first open it up, you have different settings for each individual applications. So here I can choose the different options that I want for my sports app. And it's different for each application you use and you can customize your Windows experience this way it also gives you a nice little control panel esque kind of uh, thing here where you can check your internet you can check your sound your notifications etc over here at the bottom this change PC settings is also something very important so just click on that and this brings you to a kind of a personalization kind of portal that's it it goes hand in hand with the control panel but it's also quite different in its own way so there are different settings that you can change for everything uh, you can choose to customize how you type uh, your display uh, different things over here your windows update or your sky drive you can choose to you know your network options or your privacy options i mean there's a whole slew of different things that you can change here in the pc settings and it is very useful especially the your accounts page uh, it's very useful for those of you who uh, need to access your Microsoft account straight away from the Windows PC and it's fairly difficult to do in the control panel I'm not sure if there is a setting actually in the control panel so this is probably the accounts setting is probably the most useful thing in your whole kind of PC settings page so we're just gonna close that up for now we're gonna go back to our desktop so I hope you guys have uh, you know you've kept in mind what you've learned so far there are different mouse gestures to go into different aspects of the new windows there's the start screen that you can use in the same way as your start menu you can search for things and things will pop up you can click on things and applications will pop up 
so make sure you guys keep all of this in mind and that is kind of the general uh, kind of way to get around the new windows of course the desktop should have mentioned this earlier is still here you can still get to the desktop and use everything straight from the desktop as you would in all the other versions of Windows. And one of the last things I'm gonna get into is the new task manager. And a lot of people don't know about this, but it is in my opinion, one of the best additions to Windows that Microsoft has ever made, really. It's very, very useful uh, for those of you who haven't really had much experience with it now if you are just opening it up for the first time you may see it in a little box like this and this is okay it shows you at a glance what applications you have open but you really want to get into the more details and the new task manager just has so many different uh, sources of information from the previous task managers. It's really useful. Uh, you can check the apps you have open, the background processes as always, but now there are performance tabs uh, that are, you know, they're upgraded with all these uh, new information. Uh, the app history tab is kind of useful for you to check your usage of different Windows applications and, you know, how much data they use, how much CPU time do they get, how much data do they take off the internet. Uh, the startup tab, very, very, very useful. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my previous video on how to make Windows 8 faster, I have a link up right over here. Uh, it's the start, when your Windows first boots up, it starts up all of these applications and it really impacts your system performance and startup so being able to access your startup uh, from the task manager like this it's very very useful uh, your users uh, your details for the different things that are running also the services tab having this uh, available to you right away from task manager uh, allowing you to customize and manage the services that you have on your computer very very useful again if you want to know how you can optimize your windows services check my previous video and i'll have a really good guide on that i won't go into depth on it right now but just remember the new windows 8 task manager very very useful so that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys uh, learned a little bit about how to use windows 8 remember this is just the basics uh, so you know you don't get stuck on this screen and you're wondering uh, how do I get to my desktop how do I use anything uh, hopefully you can get around your system by now you can learn more uh, from your own experience uh, if you think I missed anything that's very important make sure you comment it below and I'll try to address it but you know this is about it I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, make sure you check my previous video if you haven't seen it before and I hope everyone has a happy holidays and I hope you guys all enjoy your Windows 8 experience. Thanks.